So this is the uh, Cypress Capsen suitcase demo in a box. What we have here is a demonstration that implements capacitive touch sensing with the solution from Cypress Semiconductor and another one from competitor A and competitor B. And as you see here, we've got a proximity sensor. So as I approach my hands towards the kit, you can see these four LEDs that turn on or turn off. And we've got four buttons of various sizes. And this setup is then replicated three times over. So just looking at the captions buttons, touching these, obviously the buttons turn on one after each other. I can even slide my finger across and, and see each of those four LEDs light up um, so I can use it as a, as a slider with gestures. Doing the same thing on competitions, well, the proximity works, sort of. Button one, button two, button three at six millimeters is really hard to trigger. It doesn't seem to turn on. And then button four is okay. But doing the, the slider gesture, it looks like it's still missing the, uh, the button three. It doesn't, doesn't pick it up. Solution number three uh, doesn't seem to have implemented any sort of proximity demos. It does have buttons, though, that work all right. Um, but the slider gesture does not seem to pick up the two smaller buttons, or very intermittently so. Each of these three designs are implemented with the respective company's design guidelines and, and references. The next thing I'm going to do here is I have a two millimeter plastic overlay that I can put on top of this board and then repeat that demo. Of course, we aren't reprogramming, so we're, we're falling back on SmartSense auto-tuning to, to do the job here. And as you see, the Cypress buttons still work just fine individually and as a slider, whereas the competition is still having difficulty on button, on the smaller buttons. And uh, competition C that was doing a smaller buttons okay before doesn't seem to perform under the, uh, the two millimeter overlay. The next thing I'm going to do is reach out into my accessories box to grab uh, one of these two kinds of gloves. I'll use a thicker one. This looks like a, a work glove with some sort of uh, plastic material. And as you see on the Cypress solution, each of those buttons still work all right, including the smaller ones. Competition solution is having difficulty on these last two buttons picking up the glove touch. Same with competition C, does not pick up the small buttons with glove touch and of course then cannot do the slider operation. And then the last demo I had, I've got a little uh, spray bottle here with water. Let's see how it performs. So I've got water droplets all over the, the overlay now. Cypress buttons, all four of them, just work without the need for any auto calibration or, uh, or recalibration because it's all smart sense auto tuning. Competition solutions still sort of only work, not in all cases. And same thing with, with company C. So there you go. That was the uh, Capsense demo in a box. And what we've highlighted here is how Cypress's Capsense solution works in a robust way under extreme conditions.